quick scripture for you. Mm -hmm. uh, like this guy, Anton Daniels, told about he's a Christian. Now, he rolled up on the brothers in Detroit. I don't need to talk to him, but he's talking shit about it. Now, if I ran into him, I would say, uh, you, you Israelite. No, I'm not Israelite. I said, are you a Christian? He said, yeah, I'm a Christian. I said, first, they said, you can't be a Christian unless you're an Israelite first. Mm -hmm. That's the qualification to being a Christian. That's right, right. It's just like you joined them. Women's basketball team in high school. Can you be a boy and join a women's basketball team? No. Nope. No, because you're not qualified. Right. The qualification is to be a woman first. Mm -hmm. right. Then we can see how your ass plays. So how the hell are you going to be a Christian but you ain't an Israelite? Right. Or you Israelites can be Christian. That's right. Yeah. That's the topic right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good. So both have, you're not a Christian. Yeah. We call these guys Christians. We got to start calling them Antichrist. Yeah. Yeah. That's the new thing. When we talk about these Christians, you use the term Antichrist. Yeah, Antichrist. Because they're not Christians. Yeah. Yeah. Con. In fact, I got a quick scripture for you. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. And uh, it's your brother Debar Kabash coming back at you from the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina camp with a real quick lesson to edify through the Rakahakwadash. And uh, Lord's willing, this lesson here will be edifying to someone. And uh, I actually want to do this video here, you know, based off uh, what the apostles, they actually went live. And uh, Elder Apostle Tahar mentioned this here in the live feed. And uh, Elder Manat Zakba of the GMS Charlotte, North Carolina, or Schlocky GMS South Carolina camp, actually uploaded this here short clip. You know, and it was all through the spirit that he did that. And uh, the, uh, he named it. Uh, they are anti-Christ, not Christians. You see that? And a lot of our people today, you know, are just that. They're anti-Christ. You see, because a lot of our people, they don't believe in the Savior of the Bible, which his name is Yahweh Shai. You see, and you can't be, right, a Christian, right, and not be an Israelite. You see, because that word Christian was actually a, a, a derogatory term Right. For those for those Israelites that actually believed, you know, in our savior, man. You see, so a lot of our people today, they are just that they are anti Hamashiach, you know, and a lot of our people, they think that, you know, well, Antichrist is just one person. No, no, no. You know, if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, right, you are anti. And when you look around today, most of our people, right, most of these people that are, that are out here. As a matter of fact, Elder uh, Aya Shaw of the GMS Shaw in North Carolina camp, he actually mentioned it today. You know, a lot of our people, they just simply don't believe, right, in the Savior. You got a lot of our people that are atheists now. You see? So guess what? They are anti-Hamashiach. And I want to look up the word anti real quick. You know, because if you're not for, if you're not pro or for, you are indeed against. All right? Let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Right? Let's grab the word anti. 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 It says, um, it says, uh, anti means opposed to or against. You see, and a lot of our people, again, they are against, right, the Savior of the Bible and also the God of the Bible, man. You know, they're against us. You see that? And they, man, right, the spirit, right, of Yahweh Shai rests with us. You see, because Yahweh Shai, he's doing what? He's supping with us, man, right? So a lot of our people, they walk past the camp, they scoff and they mock, you know, they thumb our videos down because they are anti, anti Hamashiach. And all we do is we teach this word, man. You see, and guess what? Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of a book, you see? So let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and grab some scriptures, right? You know, because because again, our people they think that you know, you know, well, there's only one person that's no. It's many people out there that 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 think this. This is the book of First John, chapter two, verse eighteen. It reads, "Little children, it is the shlaki. It is the last time, as as and shlaki. And as ye have heard 
that Antichrist, right, shall come. Even now, there are many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. You see, and this is how we know that we are in the last days. You see, because there are many people out here, right, that are anti. Right? They're not for the Savior of the Bible. Again, they are against them. You see that? So, you know, if you're not, again, if I must say it again, if you're not for Yahweh Shai, right, you're against them, man. You see that? You can't straddle the fence. You know, well, I believe this, but I don't believe that. Then that means that you're anti. You know, you, Yahweh Shai is not supping with you. So you brothers and you few sisters out there, right, that truly believe in Yahweh Shai, keep believing, man. You know, because when you look around, a lot of our people today, they don't believe in Yahweh Shai, man. You see? So, you know, going back, right, to, you know, this Christian, you know, <clears throat> let me see if I can find that here, right? Because the word Christian was actually a derogatory term. Let me see if I can find that, right? Let me see, Christians, let me see, C-H, you know. And I actually didn't have this pulled up. Slock you. You know. Christians was, was, was a derogatory term. Right? And I'm just going to grab this here. It says, while, while we may not be certain about the origin of the, of the name Christian, we do know that believers have followed Peter's instructions they are proud to be known as Christians, even if the term was first intended as an insult. You see that? And, you know, us, us brothers, right, and even you few sisters out there, right, that believe in Yahweh Shai, right, Yahweh Ratazai, you are here today, right? Back then, they called us Christians, you know? And it was supposed to be a derogatory term, you see? So let's go ahead and grab this here. This is the book of Acts, chapter 11. I'm going to start at verse 21, and it reads, And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed. You see that? So us brothers and you few sisters out there, you believe, right? And turned unto the Lord. You see that? So this is the point here, man, right? A lot of people out there, right, starting with the, starting with the 144,000 and also the remnant, right? We believe in Yahweh Shai. You see? Let's keep going here. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth uh, Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch, right? And it says, who when he came, he had seen the grace of the Most High Yahweh and was glad and exhorted them all with the purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord. You see that? Let's keep going here, man. And, and Yahar Ratazah, we're cleaving unto the Lord now. For we, Shlaki, for he was a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And much people was added unto the Lord. You see that? And this is the same thing that you see in happening now, man. Right? There are much, there are a lot of brothers and few sisters out there, right? And, and even the children, they're being added unto the Lord because they believe. You see? Let's keep going here. Then departed Barnabas to, to Tosheros for to seek Saul, right? And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that the whole year they assembled themselves with the church and touched more than like and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. You see that in there, man, right? Just wanted to bring this home here. Right, the Christians were called uh, 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 the the brothers and a few sisters. They were called Christians, man. First at Antioch, you see, you know. But again, it was supposed to be a derogatory term, you know. So again, you know, going back to the video, you know, that I showed in the very beginning, you know, if you are a, if you call yourself a Christian, right, then hey, man, you got to be an Israelite, man. You you see, and us brothers. Right? And even a few sisters out there, they call themselves, because we are, we are the Hebrew Israelites, man. You see that? So you can't be a Christian, you know, saying, well, I'm a Christian, and you, you know, and, and you're saying you're not an Israelite. Because the Israelites, right, they believed in Yahweh Shai. You see that? Does that make sense? 
You know, and, and of course you still got people out there, you know, calling on, you know, JC and all of that, you know, and these people, they have no idea what's going on because that word, uh, matter of fact, that word Jesus, right? His name couldn't possibly be Jesus. You see? Let's go ahead and look this up. And I'm going to keep it quick. It says the letter J, Shalaki, it says the letter J wasn't invented until 1524 by, by John Tresino, right? An Italian Renaissance uh, gra uh, gr grammarian, I can't pronounce that word, please forgive me, who, who came, Shalaki, who come, there was a guy called Jesus, a common Spanish name, more than 1500 years uh, Shlaki, more than 1500 years before that and how came the uh, his mate had English names you know so, so I just want to bring this out man because the letter J didn't even come out until you know un until the uh, 1500s man you know so you got people out there still called on the name of Jesus and they call themselves Christians man you know so these people they're not for Yahweh Shai, right? They are against him. You see? So therefore, you know, scriptures tell you that they hated him that rebuke in the gate. And the prophets today, we rebuke, man. We rebuke, you know, we rebuke the Christians. You know, we rebuke, you know, these, you know, people that, you know, just, you know, if you're not speaking according to this word, it's because there is no light in you, man. You see that? If you come preaching another Jesus, matter of fact, let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Right, this is the book. Right of uh, this is the book of First Corinthians, chapter eleven, verse four. For for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, right? So if you're not coming preaching Yahweh Shai, but you come and preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye like in which ye have not received, nor nor another gospel which ye have not slack it which ye have not accepted ye might bear well with him you see that so you know these christians today you know they come and preach another jesus you know jesus loves everybody and you know all of that all right you can't you can't be possibly a christian out here right if you're talking about another jesus and you can't be a christian out here right and you're not an israelite you see that because because the real Christians are those that believe in Yahweh Shai. You see? So going back, you know, like I said, I want just, you know, just to keep it quick. You know, nothing deep. You know, nothing deep at all. You know? If you're coming and you're preaching another Jesus, like I gotta you know, then hey, man, you know, they, you know, going back to the elders' title, they are anti-Christ, not Christians. You see? So you got a lot of people out there that are against Yahweh Shai, you see? And like I said, I just wanted to keep it real quick, real simple, you know, and, you know, Yahweh Rathazada's lesson here was edifying to someone, you know, and to the next time I say, Shalom. They are anti-Hamashiach, not Christians. Shalom.